Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside this video we are going to look at RAM in Lightroom. How much RAM does Lightroom really need and use? What kind of performance increases can you expect if you upgrade your RAM, and is it worth spending the extra money to increase it? Are you ready? Let's do it. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, I edit photos for a living and recently upgraded my computer. The cool thing about this iMac is I can actually upgrade the amount of RAM in it, but I didn't know how much I needed to add. In fact, I don't want to purchase RAM that isn't going to actually benefit me, is it going to make Lightroom faster in the first place? So I did some research and found out that really there is no um, kind of information about this, so I thought I'd make a video and test it myself. So I purchased 32 gigabytes of RAM to add to the additional 8 that came with my computer and ran a bunch of tests before and after to see kind of what difference you can expect when it comes to performance inside of Lightroom. Doing research online, there really is no consensus of how much RAM you should have for Lightroom. For instance, one blog I found said 16 gigabytes, but Lightroom itself says 4 gigabytes is the minimum, with 12 gigabytes being recommended. Now, if you're anything like me, you might automatically assume that more RAM is going to equal better performance. But as I researched it, I quickly realized that that's not the case. The reason is that RAM is basically just sitting around on your computer until your computer needs it when it opens a specific application and it needs to do some processing. Now, all applications use a little bit of RAM, but having mountains of extra RAM that's actually just sitting around not doing anything is kind of like ordering... Chinese food for 10 people when it's only you at home by yourself for dinner. It really makes no sense. It's extra waste that is not going to do anything. You're going to have to throw it away. You shouldn't have bought it in the first place. Okay? Now, that's kind of a very, very basic uh, example of why more RAM isn't necessarily better. If the demands of your computer and the programs you're running, including Lightroom, is not greater than the amount of RAM you have, you won't benefit from having more RAM. Basically, you want to figure out how much RAM Lightroom is actually using and then purchase just a little bit more. And the reason you want a little bit more is because every computer program you're running is going to use a little bit of RAM, whether that's Google Chrome or Spotify playing music while you edit. It's all going to factor in. And so if you have extra buffer, extra room, your computer isn't going to have to kind of fight and divide that RAM up amongst different programs. All right. So let's take a look at how much RAM Lightroom is actually using. So in order to figure this out, I actually edited a wedding and kept track as I was editing of how much RAM Lightroom was using during the entire process. At its peak, I found that Lightroom was using just over 13 gigabytes. Now this really confused me at first because I only had 8 gigabytes of RAM on my computer. So what gives? Well, it turns out your computer is pretty smart. And so if you don't have enough RAM for a given application, it can take bits of its hard drive and assign those as additional RAM storage. This doesn't really work so well though in the real world because the storage on your computer is far slower than the RAM on your computer. And so it's going to slow down the process. Your programs won't be able to function as fast. So for me, it was definitely worth adding more RAM, at least probably 15, 16 gigabytes. You can't get 15, so 16 at the minimum would be kind of what I would need based around these initial kind of tests. So I went onto Amazon and I found this pack of RAM, 32 gigabytes for $150 for my iMac. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description below if you want to use it. It's really up to you. Just make sure it matches whatever model of computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC that you are using. Now, why did I go for 32 gigabytes? Because I didn't want to basically just get by with the 16 gigabytes. I wanted to see if I had more, if Lightroom would take advantage of that extra RAM. Okay, so I got home, I installed the RAM, and then I started running some tests. So once again, I headed into Lightroom, pulled up a wedding, and started editing while I was monitoring how much RAM was being used. To my surprise, Lightroom was now using over 20 gigabytes of RAM, even more than it had been before. This was great, but I really needed to know how much of a difference in speed it was making. Obviously, it was better. I could tell it was more snappy, but would it be substantial? For that, I had to do some actual comparison tests. So this first test is a side-by-side -side comparison of applying a preset and doing some basic exposure adjustments inside of Lightroom. Both were done at the same time, and you can see that the 40 gigabytes of RAM is responding far more quickly. That's no surprise, but what did surprise me is how much more quickly it is doing it. It's about two to three times faster. And when it comes to editing thousands of images, that two to three times faster with loading speeds is going to save you hours of work. So definitely a huge difference there. Next, I generated 100 smart previews. Now my upgraded Mac was using 12 gigabytes of RAM and finished this in 21 seconds, whereas the old version took 51 seconds. That's two and a half times slower. Again, the same kind of numbers. Lastly, I exported 500 images from a wedding and found out that the results were pretty similar with my upgraded machine coming in 20 minutes faster in terms of export time. 
<laughs> All right, so in summary, upgrading the RAM in your computer can make a huge difference when it comes to performance in Lightroom. But really, when it comes to the amount of RAM that Lightroom is using, 20 to 22 gigabytes was the max that I found across all my tests, all of my kind of observations that Lightroom is going to use. So if you have 32 gigabytes of RAM, you're all set. You're not going to see any performance increases when it comes to 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes. You can just save your money there and put it towards camera gear or whatever it is you want to do, all right? So if you're interested in the RAM kit that I used, I'll leave a link in the description below. If this video was helpful, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe, leave me a comment, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.